Jarvis Landry has fired his agent. Is that because his agent didn't ask the Browns if they were moving on from fucking Baker Mayfield and getting Deshaun Watson at quarterback next season and then just decided to say, hey, we should get out of here? Or what do you think it is, Ian? No, I my understanding of that was, so like, all right, so Jarvis gets released. I'm trying to remember the timing. Jarvis gets released a couple days before, I think almost a week before Deshaun. But he knew and was told something big may happen at at the quarterback position or oh, something big may happen with the offense. And one yes, of those big things agency. was Amari Cooper, and that helps Jarvis. That really would help him. The other big thing turned out to be Deshaun Watson, but you know they ended up coming up with a resolution before letting it play out. And I think from Jarvis's standpoint, he wanted to like, all right, if I'm done, let me get out to the market. Let me see what I'm going to make and all that. And I know he had some talks with the Falcons. He had a visit there. There was some stuff. And if Deshaun had gone, maybe he would have gone to the Falcons too. But obviously Deshaun didn't. But anyway, I know everyone was pushing for a resolution rather than, all right, let's just wait because maybe the Browns end up doing this big thing at quarterback and then you'll still be there. So I think everyone kind of – and he was, from my understanding, Jarvis was aware of all of this even when they said, all right, you know, we're done, Browns. We're not taking your – you know, diminished salary offer, whatever it is. So I think there was sort of a disagreement on how that played out. I would like to let everybody know that um, it's completely okay to fire your agent. If you're watching this show and you're a player or a coach and you're not happy with your agent out there, there's a better one out there that you can go find and have a better relationship with. It's not disrespectful to the agent. The agent probably has better relationships with other clients. You can move on. It has been a stigma that people have made players look bad for moving on from one agent to another, but then they act like everything's business. Well, if my business isn't good here, I'm moving on. You're trying to make me look bad for that. That's bullshit. You know what I mean? When this is a business. I don't like that. I moved well, on from a new. It's also agents. like just relationships. So some people mesh better with. Yes. Other, like I'm, Bingo. Is, I'm I'm currently not on my first agent, and I'm very happy with my current agent, and it was a great move. So whatever. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like because yeah. of. It is a big deal for you to understand each other and because your life is on the line. So if Jarvis has an idea or a plan that he wants to do and there's a disagreement or a miscommunication with the agent, it's like there is Jarvis has every right in his body to go, I don't think you're the right person to be doing this business life with me. I'm going to move forward. Yeah, I, that's another thing, by the way, that I think we can advance in journalism. Like maybe when, yeah. that, maybe when yeah. that's reported, like, you know, the player has decided – to uh, do business elsewhere. And it is no hard feelings. It is just bad business was happening for whatever reason. And like to move on. Now, granted, it used to get reported, this agent has fired this player. You remember when you guys would report that? What that happens. Know? When did that? That happen? Re that happens sometimes. Yeah. Um, it's like, that's not how yeah. it fucking goes. Yeah. Anybody. Well, every once in a while, that happens like that. You don't fire your work for the motherfucking player. You can stop the arrangement, but you're not firing anybody. Like, what, well, what that's are you? true, actually. The actual, only the player can do the fire. Bingo. Yeah, that's what that's I'm right. talking about. That's the, point. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Look at us, Pulitzer Prize. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, here we go. Yeah, look at us fixing journalism. I would say Pulitzer or head to Sweden and Nobel Peace Prize. There we go. Oh, oh shit. Like that wow. One. Where's Sweden? That's over there. Anyone yeah, can get nominated beautiful. for that. Scandinavian so. state. Ian, I appreciate you coming in here and literally wrapping up everything for us on the week. Uh